Hey guys, this is a video brought to you by Colorado Gold Camp. Now, I'm sure you've all heard that gold can float. Um, here, I have a perfect example of a nice sized piece of gold you see drifting around the pan, floating on the top of the water. It's clinging to the surface tension of the water, and if you have oils or grease in your pan, this type of gold can <clears throat> easily wash out of your pan. This little piece here, I'm guessing, is probably in the 20-30 mesh range, which is pretty sizable, and I'm surprised it's floating. Um, but it's fairly flat and regular. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. I'm going to sink it, push it to the bottom. There we go. And show you how gold comes to float. I'll bring the water back off of the gold, and when I reintroduce it, the surface tension will just pick it right up. See, there it goes, and it's floating. So simply by adding a drop or two of jet dry or dish soap, you will alleviate this problem. I don't have any jet dry, but I do have some regular soap here. Take a little, oops, tiny, tiny dab, put it on my finger, Put it on the water and this piece of gold should sink. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so we got a little bit in the pan. Now let's try the surface tension trick again. Bring the water back. Bring it back. Gold stays down. Bring it back and the surface tension no longer picks up the piece of gold. Hope you enjoyed and learned something. You can find out more information at coloradogoldcamp.com. Take care and heavy pans.